Hey guys, I'm here today to talk to you about the snatch. This is a very complex lift and it often gets very confused. At CFO, we like to keep this very simple for our athletes to produce a more productive learning environment. So the way we keep the snatch simple is to only focus on three sections. So we call it the three pulls. In the first pull, we wanna see athletes set up on the bar with their chest nice and tall over top of the bar, their shoulders ahead of their bar with their hips above their knees. So in the first pull, your snatch hasn't begun yet. The first pull is just about holding your position until we can get to the second pull. Once we've cleared our knee, we've exited the first pull and we've started the second pull. This is where our snatch actually begins. This is where we launch. This is where we drive the floor away nice and hard and start our jump with our barbell. Once we've jumped hard, the bar is gonna pass through our hip. It's gonna brush our hip and we'll finish fully extended at the top, up on our toes with our shoulders nice and shrugged to begin our third pull. Once we've shrugged with our barbell, we've initiated the third pull. What happens a lot with athletes is there's a disconnect between them and, a bar, and the bar because they're trying to launch under a little too quickly so that the bar becomes weightless. The bar is going to be weightless, but while it is, we need to be actively pulling against the weight of the bar to launch ourselves under and finish with a nice strong lockout overhead. And the only thing left to do after that is stand up in an overhead squat. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you use these tips on the platform.